What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today, once again, I'm gonna go over some of my most recent sales, including some tools that I did buy from Crazy Bins that I was able to double my money on. Let's get right into this. So just like some of my most recent videos for my sales, I do focus a lot on video games. And in this video, there is gonna be a lot more video game sales that I am gonna be talking about. So let's get started. Up first is a PlayStation 1 game called Driver. This game only sold for $5, but honestly, I was just glad to get it gone. It's something that sat here for a while. It was included in a large video game lot. And a lot of the PlayStation 1 games have been sitting for quite some time. I know it's only $5, but that is still a great sale in my opinion and it is getting profits uh, and inventory moving some way. Next is another PlayStation 2 game called Cars. This game again only sold for $5 but I was glad just to see it moving. Next is a Nintendo 3DS game Minecraft. This was the cartridge only and I did talk about picking this up in a Nintendo 3DS lots that I recently did sell and this one here sold for $15 and it was cartridge only. Honestly I didn't think I was able to sell it or I was going to be able to sell it. I was going to include it with the Nintendo 3DS, but I ended up checking it out and it was consistently selling between $15 to $20 on eBay. So I ended up selling it on eBay for $15 and I thought that ultimately was a great deal. Next is the actual Nintendo 3DS that I did pick up with that game and that was the Legends of Zelda console and that one I did sell on eBay for $365, which was an amazing deal. I think I only paid, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think it was 190 or possibly 200, but still that is $165 profits, not including the games that I did sell individually. I did sell the one I just mentioned for $15. I did sell another game for I think $20 and I did sell one for $40 which was cartridge only and that was the Kirby game. So I did make a lot of profits on this and I at least doubled my money which is amazing and that's always a goal for me whenever I buy these video game lots or comic book lots is to at least double my money if not triple or make as much money as much profit as I can. That's what I do it for. Even if I can't double my money, but it is still decent profits, I will always buy something and at least check it out and see if it's worth it. If it is, I will try to buy it. But this here, the 3DS lots, was definitely worth it. And the 3DS console itself sold for $365 on eBay, which I thought was a great deal. Next up is the Xbox 360 console, the E console that I bought a while back, and I did share that with you guys. This one here I did sell for $100 and $25, which I thought was a great deal. Now, I did sell one maybe six months ago for $130, so I was expecting that, but still $125 was still a great deal for this console, and that was an amazing profit for that as well. With that lot, I also was able to sell on eBay an Xbox 360 game that I did buy with that lot, and that was for WWE 2K16, which honest, honestly, WWE and sports games in general, I don't expect to get a lot of money out of, but this game here, I believe it had Stone Cold on the cover, which meant, I remember it's in my collection, for my personal collection, because I do love wrestling. If I remember correctly, that game, the... Uh, story part of it was Stone Cold's career, which he's a Hall of Famer, people love him, so maybe that's why I was able to sell it for a little bit more, and that's why it's trending for a little bit more. But this game did sell for $13, which I thought was a great deal. I didn't expect to get a sports game, let alone a WWE game that is a couple years old to be able to sell for that much, but it did, and to me, that was great. Next up was the rest of the Xbox 360 games that I did have from the lots. They were included with the Xbox that I did talk about just a moment ago that I did recently sell. And it was a total of 58 games. Now, 48 of those games I was selling for $5 each. The other 10 I was selling for $10 each roughly, and I did have them listed individually on eBay as well. Somebody came and sent me an offer uh, and I know they were going to resell it because they did tell me, but ultimately I thought it was a great deal. Not only did they take the 58 Xbox 360 games, they also took 12 PS2 games, all of the PlayStation 2 games that I had left remaining as well, along with one PlayStation 1 game, and it was a Final Fantasy game. Now, that game, if it was in pristine condition, 
I would have probably been able to sell it for $30. However, the label was a little water damaged and the case was a little cracked. So I decided to include it in this lot since he was interested in it. And he did offer me $200 for this entire lot. And that $200 was all profit. Even with the Xbox 360 lots, I already made my money back selling a couple of the games individually and also the console. So this with the PlayStation 2 stuff, with the Xbox stuff, everything was all profits and that was amazing. $200 profits was definitely something nice to see and I do know he's going to resell it because once I met with him he did tell me he said he's going to try to sell them for five to ten dollars each. In my mind some of those games best of luck to him because I've had them listed for a while. I've had the occasional person message me for just one game or two games, but for me to go and bring it to them for only one game wasn't worth the time. That's why I decided to take this offer. Next up is the items that I did buy recently from Crazy Bins, and I did share that in a video with you guys, sharing the items that I did pick up from Crazy Bins and my opinions on Crazy Bins. Now, since that video, I have yet to go back just because I've been a little bit more busier with the business and work. But I do plan on going back to Crazy Bands pretty soon because two of the items that I did sell, I was able to double my money on. So the first item is a socket set. It was brand new. All of these sockets, once you open up the case, were brand new, sealed in the bags, never used. And they're fairly large. And I know since working in an automotive shop, if you go to Snap-on or whenever Snap-on comes to these shops, usually they charge $20 per socket. So I know I was going to able to, I was going to be able to sell the whole set for at least double what I paid for. I only paid $25 for it. I was able to sell it for $50. And to me, that was a great deal, not only for me, but the person that bought from me. Because like I said, those sockets, if you get them from Snap-on truck, that would be about $20 per socket. And there was seven sockets in this set. So I doubled my money and they got a really, really great deal from me as well. And the last item, which was from Crazy Bins as well, I also paid $25 for, and that was the nut driver set that was sealed brand new, never even opened. And that there, I know I did see listings on eBay for $100. I haven't had anybody message me. I've had it listed on eBay for quite some time. So I decided to lower my price locally and try to get it at least to be around $50 so I can at least double my money. I paid $25 for it. I wanted to at least sell it for $50 so I can say once again, I doubled my money off of something that I picked up from Crazy Bins. And yes, I was finally able to do that. I met with the guy a couple days back and he did pay me the $50 dollars for it and I thought that was a great deal again not only for me because I get to double my money but this is something that retails for usually a hundred dollars and he only got to pay fifty dollars so he got a great deal on it and I did get to double my money so I do plan on going back to crazy bins hopefully very soon I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually go and plan to go just because work's been crazy a lot of the stuff with the business have been crazy Today is the restock day, which everything is $25. I was planning on going first thing this morning. Somebody messaged me for comics, and then whenever I went and was getting everything ready, they never messaged me back, which did suck because I could have been at Crazy Bins first thing when, whenever they opened and found some great stuff. But at the time that this guy, I realized he was not even gonna message back. Crazy Vince has already been open for an hour and I knew I missed out on a lot of the great bigger items and I knew it wasn't worth going today, but I do plan on going back very soon. And anything that I do pick up from Crazy Bins, I will share with you guys because yes, there's definitely profit to be made from Crazy Bins, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me going over all of my recent sales, including the 3DS, the Xbox 360 console as well, as the tools that I bought from Crazy Bins. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.